Moths are insects. They have two pairs of wings, a pair of antennae and six legs. Moths show an amazing variety of size, shapes and wing colours. Some species have separate colours for the males and females. There are over 900 species of larger British moths and May to September are the best months to look out for them. Although some moths are active during the day, the majority of them are only active and fly when it's dark. Moths prefer warm, still, cloudy nights. However, as most night flying moths are attracted to light, this gives you a way to look at them. If you put a white sheet on a garden table, you can then put a desk lamp on the top. Point the lamp downwards at the cloth. Then plug the lamp in and switch it on. The moss will be attracted to the light and settle on the cloth underneath. You can then take a closer look at them. Another way is to hang a white sheet from a wall or a fence and point the lamp at the sheet. Once again the moths attracted will land on the sheet. Younger moth observers should get some help in setting up the sheet and lamp and to make sure that it is safe. The next stage is to find out the names of the moths. Take a closer look at the moth and note its size, shape, colours and any distinctive markings. There are lots of identification books. The best books have life size colour pictures or drawings with notes about when and where the moths are usually seen. There are also lots of phone apps and websites to help you to name your moths. This is a Robinson moth trap. The trap is placed in an open space, the bulb is switched on and the trap is left out all night. Moths are attracted to the bulb and then fly towards it. The moth then slides down the funnel, past the lamp and into the base of the trap. A plastic shade over the top of the bulb protects it in case it rains. In the morning the bulb is switched off and the trap can then be opened. The egg boxes are removed carefully so that you can see the moths. Do not handle the moths. They are very delicate and will probably fly away if you touch them. This is a portable moth trap. It uses battery power and a low energy tube, but it still works in the same way. Once again the moths slide down the funnel, settle on the egg boxes and in the morning the trap can be emptied and the moths examined. Here is a picture gallery of some of the moths that are around at the moment and some that you can look forward to later in the summer.